Hey guys, so I'm making lunch, and today's lunch is going to be simple. It's arugula, chickpeas, onion, apple cider vinegar, olive oil. I'm going to put some avocado in there. I'm going to have some sliced roasted red peppers. I boiled some eggs that I'm going to peel. The problem is that we're under a boil water advisory because there was a water main break uh, yesterday, yesterday morning or afternoon. So all my burners are full with pots of water that I was boiling, that I'm letting cool so that we can use it to brush our teeth, to rinse produce, to, you know, wash produce, wash our hands. Um, and then as the water cools, I have empty gallons because I save my empty gallons. Good thing I do. I save my empty gallons because I use them to um, start seeds in February. So I put dirt, I put my seeds in there, and then it acts like a little greenhouse. Um, so by spring, my plants are ready to go, and I don't have to set up tables inside or grow lights or anything like that. So I have the empty gallons, and as the water cools, I have my little funnel, and I'm using my measuring cup to just pour the water from the pots into the gallons. And so because of that, um, I'm just making a quick cold salad and I used the one burner that I had to boil my eggs. I'm letting them in my toaster oven. I made turkey bacon. I had a quarter of a pack left of turkey bacon in the fridge. So I just cooked it up in the toaster oven at 400 for like 15 minutes so that it got really crispy. And I'm gonna crumble that over the salad. The problem is I can't really cook on the stove because I'm busy boiling water. I can't use the oven because it's a million degrees outside. I can't wash dishes because the advisory said not to wash dishes unless you soak them in bleach, which I'm not going to do. And I was going to use the grill, but now look at this. It looks crazy outside. It's about to like start. I, I hear like rumblings and it looks dark. It's about to start thunderstorming. So I don't want to start the grill up. So I kind of just rummaged around my kitchen to see what I could find to make for lunch that didn't involve cooking, grilling, or using the oven. And this is kind of what I came up with as I went along and looked around and saw what I had. So Sometimes you just have to put something together and hope for the best. And guess what? It came out super yummy, delicious, actually. The funny thing is, as I was putting this together, a thought popped in my head. It's like, I just got myself a yummy plate of food at the salad bar. And here it is. We have arugula marinated with olive oil, apple cider vinegar, onions, chickpeas, and I made turkey bacon in the toaster oven because I had a quarter of a pack left in the drawer. And I was like, you know what? I got to use this up. So I just toasted it up in the toaster oven at 400 for like 20 minutes. And it got super crispy. And I just crumbled it with my hand right over the arugula salad. I have two boiled eggs, roasted red peppers, and half an avocado. Voila, delicious. And we're serving the salad with these yummy pita chips. So I keep these plain pita bread in the freezer. And then when I want one, if I want like something toasty, if I want it soft, then I just let it defrost and it says as if I just bought it. If I want it toasty, then I put it in the toaster oven at 400 for um, 10 to 15 minutes and it gets really crispy, almost like a cracker or like a piece of like uh, pie crust or something. That's what it tastes like. And you spritz it with olive oil. You could put a little garlic powder. You could put a little thyme, whatever you want to flavor it with. And you cut it with the pizza cutter into little triangles. So I always have a pack of these in the freezer. Super yummy. And they're vegan. I just realized that. Interesting. So I basically just take pita bread. I keep it in the freezer and then I just toast it in the oven, in the toaster oven. And then I spritz it with a little olive oil, garlic, salt, and mmm, you have some nice crispy bread to eat with your salad. So sometimes you're having a bad day because everything is just not working your way, but hey, something good came out of it. This is something I've never made before, but I'll be making this again because this was super yummy. Thanks for watching.